15 minutes. That's how long we have before that refund button disappears. So the question is, can we determine whether or not it's a game worth our time when we give it its 15 minutes of game? Hey everybody, Maction here, and the game we're going to look at is Rico, A Tale of Two Brothers. Now this is a cross-platform game, so you can buy it for PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. I'm playing it on Android, of course. And it is quite challenging, but not right out of the gate. The game has a gentle but unyielding difficulty curve. The graphics are, as you can see, very pixel-rific. And while the background feels like very early NES, the foreground is almost Atari. The music sounds like it was composed on some old-school gear as well, and the controls are very basic. Left, right, jump, and eventually attack. Checkpoints, enemies, platforming, and shinies, it's all there. And I love it. There is a very fascinating game mechanic built around collecting all the little shinies, or golden crystals, as they're called. Every golden crystal you fail to collect makes the boss battle at the end of that particular world against your brother that much harder. It's a great way to make the collection aspect of a game so much more important. The controls are fairly good, and since I'm playing this on Android, that is noteworthy. I don't think I can say this enough, though. Precision controls make or break platforming. It's kind of the difference between difficulty and frustration and snapping your controller, which in years past was a lot cheaper than it is today. For as much as I love it, it is not without its issues. For example, when I respawn, the music seems to stop on my tablet and won't pick up till the next level. Additionally, at present there's no option to resize the buttons, and I sometimes find myself not being able to hit my mark and suffering because of it. On a hunch, I fired up my control R and started playing, and much to my surprise, it worked. I didn't try this with more than just the Mad Cat's control R, so I don't know about what it will or won't work with, but I was very pleased with this since the store page does not list controller support among the features. In closing, this game was very fun to play, and I highly recommend it. And if you want some free games, after subscribing, leave a comment below about your favorite old-school or retro-style game, and I'll randomly select one of you for a $10 gift card to the Google Play Store. Enough for this game, and maybe a couple of more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like would be most appreciated. You see, it's your feedback that lets me know how to best allocate my time to the things that you want to see. If you click on any of the videos around here, you'll be taken to a playlist with more of that particular brand of madness. And be sure to subscribe so that you can always be the first to know when I have some new content out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around.